Hey there, everybody. I hope that you are having a great Tuesday. I have finished another of these really fun um, binder ring books, uh, taking advantage of this wonderful collection of very vintage books that I have that the spines are kind of falling apart and um, the insides are kind of, you know, 75, 85% there. Um, but this particular book was in such great shape to be from 1929. Um, the cover, you can tell that the cover, I mean, it was a used cookbook, my friends. It's called The Electric Refrigerator Recipes and Menus Specially Prepared for the General Electric Refrigerator, which, of course, was a super new invention in 1929. So I'm going to do a flip through of this book. So you can see how it came together. And I love doing like the decoupage napkin thing on these pages. It seems to turn out well. I got to tell you, I am kind of in love with the three ring binder system here. I had uh, one of these books on my desk and it was open and I thought, oh my gosh, you know, it is so nice to have a book to work in that lies flat and open. <clears throat> Excuse me. The other cool thing, too, is that you can work on these pages and then remove them. You know, it would be, this would be great, uh, you know, to do as a swap. Uh, you've got your tuck spots here. There's a belly band here. There's a belly band here with a lot of fun things tucked under it. There's a pocket right here. And when you lift the things out of the pocket, you get another image that was in the book. These books fascinate me because it, they were all written at a time when homemaking was truly an art. And it is what women focused on. They focused on being a mom and being a homemaker. It's just such a beautiful thing to look at. I love the menus. These are family menus. Um, breakfast would be prunes baked with orange juice and chilled, cracked wheat and thin cream, scrambled eggs, toast, donuts, coffee, cocoa, or milk. Just the, <laughs> I mean, that's probably what I eat in like a whole day, you know, is what they had for breakfast. But it was at a time, I mean, look at this family. Um, they're gathered around the table. The table has a white tablecloth. Mom is dishing out the, um, the, the meal here. Everyone is dressed. Dad's dressed in his suit. Mom has on a nice dress. The children look impeccable. I think it was just at a different time. My boyfriend asked me the other night, he said, have we ever eaten at our dining room table? And I was like, nope. No, we haven't. You know, and we usually eat in front of the TV and that's, you know what, that's just the way it is, right? A uh, different time. I, I really loved it when my children were small and we kind of gathered around the table. I love it now. My children are big and we gather around the table. I just, I really do like that idea. This is a, um, um, a little tuck spot right here. Menus for informal luncheons. And you would not believe how complex these menus get. Uh, one, let's look at uh, mu menus for informal luncheons. Number three, cream of spinach soup, toasterettes, club sandwich, pickles, orange pico mousse, little chocolate cakes, ginger ale chilled in the chilling unit. It's just so, like, amazing to look back. Menus for afternoon bridge, and I just put a couple bridge tallies in here along with a vintage card. Of course, these pages are um, Mod Podge, and you do have a bit of mixed media going on here. We're taking a lot from the 1871 ledger that I was blessed to receive. This is menus for weekend guests. Uh, again, 1871 ledger, le ledger painted papers, and we've got a little Lucy right here used as a tab. These pages are uh, Mod Podged with super vintage text. I know that you'll enjoy playing with that. After theater lunches, um, incredible after theater lunches. And because this was a theater section in this book, 
Uh, you know, everyone's dressed to the hilt. The guys have on their tucks. Um, I thought a bit of Jay Peterman would fit in here rather nicely. So we've got a little Jay Peterman used as a um, as a little tuck spot right here. And I've got a vintage postcard right here for you. This is some drawing paper. A couple little tuck spots here. Um, this is from the 1973 Farmer's Almanac. I just I love the illustrations. I had an old Dick and Jane um, that was not in good shape and so I salvaged some pages from Dick and Jane which I just I love. I remember learning to read in this book. I remember being in reading circle. I remember the very first time that I grasped the concept of words and you know it's never left me. I mean I was five years old and you know 55 years later I love to read. I love the written word. I love that part of my job is working with old books it's just it's just an awesome thing I'm, i just feel very very blessed um another page for you to play with and of course there are writing spaces in here this is a a little tuck spot and this is a tuck spot as well and then we've got some look spot look puff look and see sally and tim and we're almost to the end. The end page does have an, another small tuck spot in here for you. This book is going in my Etsy store today. So be on the lookout for it. Like I said, it's kind of battered. But to me, that's what exa that's exactly what makes these books so much fun and so cool to own and to make your own, my friends. Thank you so much for watching. And I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.